San Francisco, California. The Bay Area is the location for the Nets. He is a two-way terror. Torian Finney-Smith, undrafted in 2016, but his work ethic has made him a mainstay for this team as they wind up for action from the Chase Center in San Francisco. Nets, Warriors, and Nets. Hello basketball fans, you've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. I'm Kevin Harlan, with me tonight, former NBA players Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony, with David Aldridge joining us courtside. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Chris Paul. And looking at his offensive numbers in the past few years, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. So the next starting five. The post tandem, it's Johnson and Claxton. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Thomas, and it's Bridges in at the three. And for Golden State, in the backcourt, it's Curry and Thompson. Fremont Green is out there with Jonathan Kaminga, and it's Wiggins in at the three. And one thing, Greg, you notice about both these teams, they look to play through the passing game. And all the better for us. I mean, as fans of the game, seeing that kind of flow and teamwork, it just makes the game fun to watch. It'll be the Nets off the tip. Schroeder with the ball. Passes it to Johnson. He kicks it to Thomas. Shot clock at six. Over Thompson. And Thompson sends it back. Here's Curry. There's the drive. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Sometimes there's just no stopping Curry. He's just too skilled. Schroeder against Curry. Pass to Bridges. That one doesn't go. Wiggins with some nice deep. The pass to Thompson. Now here's Kaminga. Outside Curry. Pass to Wiggins. Thompson is screen on Bridges. Wiggins kicks to Thompson. No good on the triple. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Here's Thomas. Green with the block. More of a positional defender. That time, Green sends it back. Claxton, no good. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game to the middle. Here's Bridges. He's now one for two with that bucket. Yeah, that's a good way to start the game. Nice inside bucket right there. And last season the Warriors' so-called two-timeline approach seemed to fall flat, didn't you think, G.A.? And whether it was chemistry or younger players still growing into their roles, the Warriors are now clear. So there's only one timeline and that's Steph Curry. For Brooklyn, they've gotten only one of six shots to drop for them to start this game. Curry against Schroeder. The dish now to Bridges. Johnson in the corner. Picked by Bridges. Here's Schroeder. The Nets need to get a shot off here. And they pick up two. It seems like Bridges' confidence just grows every year, taking it right to the defender. Curry against Schroeder. Curry passes to Wiggins. 
shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Personal foul. First. And GA, this Nets team kind of slim on the interior, don't you think? How can they be most effective? Well, you've got to press that advantage as far as quickness and get out and run and challenge opposing bigs to cover you in space. First free throw is good. Boy, Brooklyn GA did all they could to assemble a championship team, and look what happened. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, you take your swings in this league, and sometimes it works. Sometimes you have to retool, and they still have some good players to build around. And both free throws good for Wiggins. And Richard for the Warriors, a number of future Hall of Famers playing a part. But Stephen Curry, we all know this, is the center of it all. He's the greatest shooter ever, Kev. We all know that. But I, when people say that he changed the game, a lot of times I like to give credit to the entire team. Having Clay Thompson helped Steph be Steph. And having Draymond Green with that defense and his passing ability helped Steph's game go to another level. On the wing, Wiggins. Thompson, a screen on Schroeder. Curry kicks to Thompson. Down low, Green. And Green slams it in. Look at how effectively Green uses his body. Disrupting the defense with the screen and making some room for himself. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Schroeder. Raymond Green grabs the miss. Warriors leading by five. Dishes it to Curry. And here is Kaminga. Nothing on the board. Green with a screen for Curry. Off target with his three. Burnett shooting in the early going here. Pretty dreadful. 22%. Thompson against Thomas. Kicks it out to Schroeder. Let's it go from deep. Sinks the triple. It works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Curry dishes to Thompson. Green left side. Back to Thompson. Curry looking around. Shots over Schroeder. Rebounded by the Nets. They're moving on after the tough loss they took at the hands of the Nuggets. What a duel that was. Exciting all the way to the end. Really a shame someone had to walk away with an L. A loss is a loss, but some of them hurt more than others. You just hope the extended overtime minutes didn't zap their energy for this game. Claxton finds Johnson. Shoots over Kaminga. Johnson, good. And this game is tied up now. Good defense here, but Johnson, good enough to beat him. Thompson against Thomas. Pass to Curry. Kaminga sets a screen for Curry. Inside. Kicks it out to Wiggins. Craps in the tray. Wiggins has got five points so far. I like that. Get Wiggins something in rhythm, and he knocks it down. Schroeder passes to Thomas. Back to Schroeder. He takes it in. Pass to Claxton. The Nets working the ball around now. Now the pass to Thomas. Schroeder against Curry. And good as it just snugs right down through the net. He'll be asking for some lottery numbers later if he keeps knocking down shots like that. Schroeder against Curry. Thompson outside. Fires the three. And another three for Golden State. And this is Thompson's shot. One of the most gifted outside shooter the NBA, the world, has ever seen. Pass to Thomas. J. 
Takes it inside. Again, the Nets for two. That's a guy you want taking shots, a quality offensive player. And yes, records are made to be broken, but RJ made three-point shots. My goodness, Curry is so far ahead of everyone else. Yeah, to me, it comes down to longevity. LeBron passed Kareem on all-time scoring list, so anything is possible. But it's hard to pass Steph because he's just going to keep going. Fires top of the key. Almost, but it rolls out. I guess we can credit the defense for that one going wide. They did everything they could to influence the shot. Bridges outside. Kicks to Schroeder. Passes to Johnson. Bridges with it. Covered by Wiggins. A miss that time. Would have put him up. Well defended that time. He's a shooter that the D has to close down on quickly when he's ready to pull the trigger. A three-pointer off the mark. And Schroeder's got the ball here for Brooklyn. Trailing by two. This game against Golden State is the first time they've met this season. And with this matchup being an East versus West affair, it will be the first of only two meetings between the team. As a player, these ones are fun. You get to match up with guys you rarely see. But not really his best quarter as far as scoring, but let's see if he can eventually get back on track. On the wing, Wiggins. He's guarded by Schroeder. Wiggins kicks to Curry. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Here's Green. And it's blocked. It's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And in a close game, blocks like that are so clutch. And that could be a real difference maker here tonight. Different look here for the Warriors. Looney's checked in for Green. Sharks comes in for Jonathan Kaminga. Peyton, he's checked in for Wiggins. And Paul's subbed in for Thompson. And a new group in for the Nets. Trendon Watford's checked in for Nicholas Claxton. Dorian Finney-Smith comes in for Johnson. Lonnie Walker, he's checked in for Thomas. And it's Ben Simmons in for Dennis Schroeder. Walker looking for an opening. Fires the three. Sharks grabs the board. Golden State's gone 3 of 6, 50% from deep so far tonight. Here's Paul. Good on the 13-footer. And the Warriors lead by four. There aren't a lot of guys in this league who shoot mid-range, but Paul, he's one of them. Here's Walker. He's playing a pretty big role for him at the offensive end, averaging about 12 and a half points a game. Pass to Payton from 12 feet out. That one rolling around and rims out. Last outing for Golden State. They won that game against the Clippers. Walker against Curry. Walker dishes to Simmons. Bridges sets the screen for Simmons. Shoots from 14, and he gets the jumper to drop. Simmons. And you'd love to see Simmons flex this range more. Defenses don't expect him to be a threat in that mid-range area. It's Curry outside. Brooklyn with the rebound. Outside, Simmons. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. Oh, that defender Paul can be so frustrating. Using his quickness to stay on top of him. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. Warriors lead by two. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from San Francisco. It's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. What do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Warriors? Well, so far, their long-range shooting has been the story, doing damage from deep. And another thing Coach will be thrilled with, the assist numbers, spreading the wealth and creating some offensive opportunities. 
the Warriors lead it. RJ, the Warriors' dominance of this era has put them among the best franchises of all time. Yes, I would completely agree with that. No one comes close to the Lakers and Celtics, though, Kev. The Warriors, after the Spurs, I think the Spurs are three, but the Warriors and the Bulls, because they had two dominant eras, and not much really before, and not much really after. Setting the four for the Nets. Walker on the wing. He's joined by Bridges. Then there's Ben Simmons. Then there's Dorian Finney-Smith. And it's Watford in its center. Here's Bridges. That misses, had a chance to tie it there. No clue how he misfired on that shot. You don't see that from him very often. Call against Simmons. It's Curry outside. Curry buries the three shot. Short line by Paul, one of the best passes of all time. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours, take it away. Thanks very much, guys. Now, culture is thrown around a lot in the NBA, but the Warriors team has it in spades, and Kevon Looney says the way we play is the way the locker room is. It's fast, loose, and disciplined. As long as you work, you're able to enjoy what you're doing. Everyone has input, and I think the biggest thing with our culture is we always talk about playing with joy. Kevin? And they do. Love it, David. Good stuff. Thank you so much. And the Nets decide to take their first time out here. And often players want to discuss calls with the officials. But, Greg, what was your approach with those conversations with referees? <laughs> Kevin, well, it, it depended on the conversation. But at the end of the day, you realize they've got a job to do just like you do. And you try to keep it as respectful as possible and yet still be able to get your point across. rebounding teams in the league fifth best the Nets you know it's not necessarily a glamour stat but but make no mistake their top-notch board work has been a huge key to their success and we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action Al Simmons taking a look at the scoring numbers. Right now, he averages about nine points a game. Just five to shoot. Walker with it. Now, guarded by Sharp. Count it, and the Warrior lead has been cut down to just one on the bucket from Walker. After failing to knock down anything from deep in the first quarter, he's got two to go here in the second. Curry against Walker. Releases. Curry nails the tricky jumper. Look, they are in front right now because of him. He keeps draining these shots at a ridiculous clip. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. That's good, and the Warrior lead is cut down to just one on the bucket from Walker. He was inside his own head in that first quarter. You could see it. Now he's doing a much better job of letting the game come to him. 13 feet away. Charge has the open look. No good on the three. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. Watford passes to Simmons. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Simmons. Simmons got the lead up to one now for Brooklyn. 
Such a great rebounder. Simmons executes that sequence before anyone can react. And there's the pass to Kurt. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Paul's got three assists tonight. And this really is the story of the game. They've been outstanding from beyond the arc, especially in the second quarter. Outside, Walker. Here's the three. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Feeds it to Sharnish. Simmons with the defensive effort. Brooklyn's gone 4 of 8 tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three-ball here. Outside, Walker. Simmons finds Vinny Smith. Bridges shot. Good. Bridges. And it's a three-point Nets lead. They have really turned it around here in the second quarter after shooting less than 40% from the field in the first. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. some numbers here for Draymond Green. He's around 10 points per game, eight rebounds, and five assists. But you look at all that, and really it doesn't give you the entire picture of his impact defensively. Just in general, numbers don't tell the whole story with defense. Guys like him, you have to watch to understand his impact. Warriors trail by three. Paul with the ball. Right now he's averaging 11 points a game. Curry outside. Rebound, Brooklyn. Claxton's got his sixth rebound on the night. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. Outside, Thomas. Right wing. Paul against Schroeder. Over Paul. And it's Schroeder missing. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. It's a three-point game. They come into this having outplayed the Clippers last game. Well, you look at the points they produced in that game. Great adjustments on the offensive end. Coaches love that kind of showing offensively, especially on the road. Bridges kicks it over to Schroeder. Back to Bridges. Has to finish Smith. Here's Claxton. He has yet to score. Here's Schroeder. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. Not the best pick I've seen, but look, like, hey, look, got the job done, and that's all that matters. And despite the KD Kyrie era fizzling out, Richard, you saw this firsthand. Brooklyn proved they are a destination franchise. Yeah, just getting KD and getting Kyrie to sign was a win for the Nets. It proved that all stars will go to Brooklyn. Yeah, it's now it's about finding the right stars. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. First, Kuminga's come in for Golden State. Thompson comes in for Chris Paul. And then for Brooklyn, Cameron Johnson's checked in for Dorian Finney Smith. And it's Ben Simmons in for Mikael Bridget. One shot.
Nearing the midway point of the season now, GA, what do you think is most important for teams to focus on at this point? I think just trying to establish overall continuity. You want to head into the second half of the season with some momentum behind you, as well as just general confidence. There's Schroeder. That doesn't go either for Schroeder. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Thompson outside. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Thompson's got the game tied up here for the Warriors. What poise from Thompson. Not allowing for any distractions from his shot. Schroeder with a screen on Curry. Simmons with it. Picked up by Thompson. Back to Simmons. Over Thompson. Thompson with the rebound. Ooh, I rushed that one a little bit. Pretty clean look inside. And stolen by Simmons. It's Thomas on the wing. Passes it to Claxton. Bounce pass, Schroeder. A shot's good from Claxton. Claxton's got his first basket of the night. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Curry way outside, and no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Brooklyn's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Simmons against Curry. Back to Schroeder. The feed now to Simmons. Just four to shoot. There's the three. Warriors with the rebound. He's been off. Still, they're up. So not all is lost. Curry is inside. Guarded by Simmons. And the basket by Curry. Curry's got 14 points for the game. Simmons passes to Claxton. To the paint, here's Johnson, and the slam dunk by Johnson. It really seems like everyone in the league can elevate these days, and Johnson, well, he's no exception. Timeout called the Warriors. And one thing about Cam Johnson, his shooting mechanics are elite. We already know that he shoots a high percentage from three, but he also has the height to shoot over people from out there, and that adds to the confidence. checked in for Sharch, and it's Paul in for Stephen Curry. Mikael Bridges checked in for Brooklyn. Six left in the first half. Wiggins kicks to Paul. The 
Thompson outside. The three. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got four assists now tonight. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. Wiggins against Bridges. 125 left in the first half of the game. Six to shoot, and the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. And a chance here to check out some stats on Klay Thompson. How last month turned out for him, he's putting up about 14 points a night, three assists, and three rebounds. And you look at his huge role in their offense, a major contributor as far as putting up points. He's just a natural scorer and someone this offense leans on to help shoulder the load and lead the charge. Here's Paul. It's deflected. Now here's Schroeder. His last outing, he had eight points. Nice four for seven from the floor with that shot. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. It reminds me of that cameo song, Back and Forth. Thompson finds Kaminga. Now Green. Paul outside. 41 seconds left here in the second. Wiggins against Bridges. And another three for Golden State. There's six points on consecutive three balls. They're finding holes now in the D. Schroeder looking over the floor. Johnson, the pass to Schroeder. Bridges sets the screen for Schroeder. That's good from Bridges on the assist by Schroeder. Bridges has got it all tied up now for the Nets. And this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Yeah, it's all about clock management with these situations. Let's see how it plays out. And Thompson kicks to Kaminga. Another three for Golden State. The team first mentality of Thompson. When someone on his squad is open, he finds them. And that'll do it for the first half of competitive game so far. The Warriors on top, up by three. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much. Steve, a good rhythm for you in the first half. What do you like most about how your team's competing? Just like the ball movement, you know, the drive and kick. Our guys have played really well together. Uh, just trying to move the ball, get a great shot. We'll see if you can keep the ball flying around as we continue. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. Welcome, everybody. Before we get into tonight's game, we will be breaking down who's hot, and who's not on our midseason power rankings. You know right now for the Nets, with half the season in the books, they seem to be going from bad to worse. Well, things trending in the wrong direction, kind of like Ernie's hairline. Uh, Ernie, that, that wasn't me. Kenny, Kenny wrote that down on my paper. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Male pattern baldness. And now time to take a closer look at Clay Thompson who spent the first half lighting it up. The way he kept getting buckets, it's like uh, we're on sale. I don't know what that means, but it's what the producer put on my teleprompter. Show business, get it? You gotta love it. Thanks for spending halftime with us. Time to get it back out to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. First half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Really an incredible game from Stephen Curry. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. 
if they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. So with Paul on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. Out in the perimeter, Thompson Wiggins. Kaminga out there with Green, and it's Curry in at the point. Schroeder against Curry. Schroeder outside. Lock at six. Here's Bridges. Came on Green with the rebound. Green's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrin. Kevin, thanks. Chris Paul is on the back nine of what will be a Hall of Fame career, but he's not ready to hang it up just yet. He said, I don't know if I can ever retire because the emotional roller coaster that you go on during a game is real. There's nothing like it. His love of the game has never been in question, Kevin. Back to you. Yeah, you're right, David. Never in question. Hey, thanks for that story. Schroeder against Curry. Thompson outside. A three ball. Brooklyn with the rebound. Claxton's got ten rebounds here tonight. So active. Outside Thomas. Back to Schroeder. Bridges outside. And here is Thomas. Some stands for him. He averages over 21 points a game. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Now Curry. He's got 17. In the corner, it's Wiggins. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got his fourth assist in this one. Thomas with it. Pass to Schroeder. Floats one up. And Curry pulls it down. I'm not sure what happened there. You, you, his family's in the building? I don't know. You have to finish those. Golden State moving the ball around. Thompson, a screen on Schroeder. Shot clock at five. There's the triple. And it's Thompson that time on the assist by Curry. Curry's got assist number five here tonight. 12 straight points off of three-pointers. And the D, Chelsea. Bridges outside. Schroeder outside. Johnson outside. The train bangs home the trifecta. Johnson's got seven points. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Already we are in December. 
Taking a look at Brooklyn, they were hoping to get off to a better start to the season. Things are still early, so they still may have a chance. And right now for Brooklyn, they haven't looked anything like the team we thought they'd be this year. Still such a long way to go. They could be in line for a long, tumultuous season. Yeah, I'm not sure this can be written off just as a slow start. I think this might be the team that they are. And the pass to Kerr. He kicks it to Green. Fires the three. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Curry's got six assists now in the game. Talking about the Grizzlies veteran, Draymond Green, still such an important player in this game. Yeah, it's just because he's so unique. He doesn't look to score very often. His main focus continues to be on defense and his playmaking ability. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Thompson outside from deep. A rebound by the Nets. Claxton's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Shooter passes to Claxton. To the inside, Bridges. Green with the block. Curry against Schroeder unloads from 13. Curry can't get it to go. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One they'll try and manufacture again. Those are the shots you want him to take. Bridges sets the screen for Schroeder. Bridges misses. Warriors leading by eight. Curry is inside. He's guarded by Schroeder. Wiggins kicks to Thompson. Good! Thompson makes it look so easy. Out of their last five makes, how about all five from long range? Timeout called the Nets. Time to get up and make some noise for your Warriors. 60. here for Mikel Bridges. And the biggest takeaway when you look at his numbers is how good his three-point shooting has been the past five games. He's finding the open spots on the perimeter and when he's getting good looks boy he is not missing. Nets trail by 11. Outside Thomas. Curry against Schroeder. Back to Thomas. Lock at four. Releases. And again, no good by Brooklyn. They are losing because he is struggling so bad, and he has not looked comfortable all game. Wiggins surveying the floor. Charge a screen on Thomas. From eight. And that one's good. Wiggins. Wiggins. Wiggins has got the lead up to 13 now for the Warriors. 
How about the strength from Wiggins? He doesn't get phased very easily. Bridges outside. Pass to Claxton. Nets passing it around. There's a good screen. 11 feet away. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Schroeder's got six assists in the game. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Golden State. They get to take on the Blazers at Portland after this one. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. He dishes it to Wiggins. And another three for Golden State. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Shooter passes to Claxton. To the middle. It's stolen by Curry. Kicks it to Thompson. They double-team Curry. And the wide-open shot from Green. Misses the three. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Back to Bridges. And he lays it straight in. Bridges. Bridges has got 12 in the game. Just look at those stats from Bridges, and he is feeling it. Higgins outside. Back to Curry. Higgins outside. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. But he'll go to the line to shoot three. First team foul. And Wiggins is fantastic at, at attracting contact. Such a savvy veteran. And some stats Three. here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Their offense has been a well-oiled machine. They're moving the ball around, playing for one another, and just piling up assists. And on top of that, they've really been dialed in from deep. Just dropping triple after triple. They throw good. Wiggins. I've been impressed to see Wiggins adjust and become a quality defensive stopper. He is fully committed to playing lockdown D on the wing. Catching up on the changes for Golden State, Kavon Looney comes in for Green, and Paul subbed in for Curry. Ben Simmons, he's checked in for Brooklyn. Dorian Finney-Smith comes in for Mikael Bridges. He's off on the second. And he nails the third. Here's Schroeder. 12 points for him. Passes it to Johnson. Back to Schroeder. Six to shoot. Picked by Benny Smith. Got it, and the Warrior lead has been cut down now to just 12 points with the basket from Schroeder. And he's doing everything he can offensively to lift them out of this hole. But I'm not sure his hot shooting can do it alone. An excellent defender. Whether Simmons is in the post or roaming the perimeter, he's a shot blocking threat. Thomas passes to Schroeder. Thomas sets a screen for Schroeder. Back to Thomas. Stolen by Thompson. Takes the three. And it's Finney Smith with the rebound. Finney Smith's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. RJ, if you had to choose someone to take the last shot in a big game, Clay Thompson, I'm assuming, is right up there. Oh, Kev, Clay Thompson would be my number one. He plays with an even temperature. His facial expressions never change. Never too high, never too low. And look, we've obviously seen that he can knock down any shot at any time. Brooklyn shooting their first free throw of the game right now. Both teams will make substitutions. What's up? left in the third quarter of the game. Paul kicks it to Looney. 
the dish to Thompson. Three pointer. A rebound by the Nets. Really surprising to see the huge edge they have in rebounds given what the scoreboard says. Pass to Bridges. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Simmons dishes to Walker. Shot clock at six. Now here's Schroeder. Defense is right there. Doesn't go that time. Thompson surveying the floor. Here's Pajemski. A three ball. A rebound by the Nets. Simmons got his fourth rebound in this one. Now the pass to Finney Smith. Paul with the steal. Now the Warriors moving it up to end the cold streak. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. That's on Ben Simmons. Well, if you don't take ben care of the ball, Simmons. fellas, that's First what can happen. Foul. Absolutely, Greg. Second and that makes foul. the turnover even more painful. We know mistakes Come lead on. to breaks. Ooh. That's just One textbook down. right there. On the free throw, no good. Thompson passes to Payton. Here's Paul. And the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for it. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. Their lead at 11 points to end the quarter. And their three-point shooting has paved the way for them. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them. And what a beautiful feat. Serving it up on a platter, that is a beautiful dish. And two teammates on the same page? Woo. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. So for Brooklyn now, Walker on the wing, he's joined by Bridges. Then there's Dorian Finney-Smith. Then it's Simmons. And it's Watford in at the five, patrolling the paint. Picked by Finney-Smith, just five on the clock. And they double up Simmons. Bridges for three. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Free ball. Simmons got his third assist on the night. This demonstrates how confident Bridges has become. He knows he has a green light to fire away. Now here's Peyton. Charge outside. Paul kicks to Curry. Shoots over Walker. Curry with the bucket. Curry's got 19 points. This is what Curry does best. He is so creative at getting into rhythm and staying hot. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. And Simmons slams it in. That should give him a nice little jolt. Ah, uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt, GA. And they need more where that came from. They're not out of this hole yet. Curry with a wide open look. A three-pointer, no good. Nets trail by eight. Outside, Walker. Pass to Simmons. Back to Walker. From past the arc. And the Nets, another three. And all of a sudden, that three puts them in striking distance, guys. He's had that shot working all night. And I bet he's thinking that he could close the gap completely if he can keep those threes coming. 
The Nets have gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's going to be on charge. Well, Bridges isn't the biggest guy, but he is a fighter. Come on for the Nets. Mikel Bridges taking two shots. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. I consider Mikel Bridges a high motor player. He's always ready to turn up his energy if he thinks it will help him get the better of you. Andrew Wiggins checked in for the Warriors. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for the Nets. Both free throws good from Bridges. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. Paul passes to Curry. Paul is screen on Walker. Curry outside. Knocks down the three ball. Curry's got five points now this quarter. And now with two three-pointers in each half, he's really doing his all to help his team out from deep. There's the lob to Bridges. Hammers the alley-oop through. Perfect connection on the hoop. Bridges is very good at going up and finishing lobs as a wing. Mulligan Simmons. Paul passes to Curry. Looney down low. Trains it as the shot clock ticks down. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. Down low. Here's Bridges. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons, Simmons. got six assists here tonight. At 6'10", Simmons sees the entire floor at all times. Curry is inside. Working on Walker. Curry gets it to go inside. And he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. All against Simmons. Outside, Walker. Outside for Simmons. Bridges passes to Finney Smith. Off target from three-point range. Warriors leading by six. Bridges with the steal. Here's Simmons. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. The size of Simmons alone is what makes him so difficult to guard. Shooting for Brooklyn. Ben Simmons. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. Yeah, a walking triple-double threat. Simmons needs to keep working on developing that jump shot to be truly unguardable. Johnson, he's checked in for the Nets. Cameron Thomas comes in for Lonnie Walker. No good at the strike this time. Second misses also. And it's Wiggins with the ball for Golden State. He's led by as many as 14 points. A whole phenomenal alley oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Bridges a screen on Paul. Simmons passes to Bridges. Over Wiggins. That's good. And the Warrior lead is cut down now to just six points with that basket from Bridges. And the defensive effort was there. But Bridges is skilled at draining these little contested jumpers. Ball outside. Curry setting the pick for Paul. Back to Curry. Rebound, Brooklyn. Claxton's got rebound number 15 here tonight. Thomas down low, defended by Paul. That's good from Thomas on the assist from Simmons. 
Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Inside, Paul. It's sent back down by Simmons. And he's able to get it back. Oh. And here is Simmons. Outside, Thomas. Passes to Bridges. Shoots a fader. And that one is off. You know, not sure if he's playing to the crowd, but, but no need for the fadeaway on that shot. Tries the spin move. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Look at Curry getting crafty, ensuring he gets fouled while in the act of shooting. At the line for the Dubs, Stephen Curry. Two shots. First one falls. Think about the impact that Steph has had on this game. Him and his team have changed the way the game is played. They have ushered in the three-point era. And both free throws good for Curry. Nets trail by eight. Simmons looking around. Pass to Bridges. Over Wiggins. Bridges misses. Warriors have gotten into a pretty good groove going six of ten here in the final quarter. Wiggins finds Thompson. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. And the upcoming schedule for Brooklyn. On Monday, they'll go up against the Jazz in Utah. And then on Wednesday, the New York Knicks come to town, tipping off a homestand for them. And looking at the schedule, it isn't ideal in terms of the upcoming games with the amount of quality teams they're going to be playing. But it's also a good chance for you to get some confidence and, and really see just how good you are. Here's Claxton. A shot that time, not on target. Great D that time from Green. Wiggins dishes to Curry. And there's the pass to Green. To the inside. That one is good again. He's six right from the floor with the basket. Wiggins is on a tear. He's just getting whatever shot he wants right now. Now a timeout called by Brooklyn. One guy who's been getting it done so far, Stephen Curry. He'll just keep hurting them from the three-point land if they let him. Here's a chance for Coach to change that. Terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what Kevin Ollie said to his team. Now, his tone was pretty serious. He said, you guys need to prove you're in this. No one else can do it for you. Time to pour on the gas. We'll see if that fire gets lit, guys. Thank you, David.
Bridges kicks to Simmons. Back to Bridges. He's looking for Claxton and finds him. Great look, but off the mark. Now, I understand that that shot didn't go down, but they will take that look every trip down the floor. Curry passes to Thompson. Higgins outside. There's the triple. Simmons pulls it in. Shocking that he just bricked that one. The defense got real lucky there. Bridges finds Johnson. From deep, Thomas. And it's Clay Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got four rebounds in this game. Kaminga the pass to Thompson. Some nice passing by Golden State. Curry's shot is good. And for record scoring, I have to imagine it was a topic of discussion at halftime. And you see this so much more nowadays in the NBA. Team putting a larger emphasis on jacking up three. Timeout called the Nets. Nets trail by 13. Now Thomas. Shot to stop the run. And the layup is up and in. Thomas got four points this quarter. So it's the Warriors now. Outside Curry. On the wing, Thompson. Offline with his three. You know what? He's got to look to get other guys involved. The three-point stroke is off. Thomas against Thompson. From 17 feet out. And the shot goes in. Thomas got it back down to within single digits for the Nets. Golden State's gone 2-5 of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Green with a screen on Schroeder. Here's Curry. Showing toughness inside. Staying cool under pressure. Curry meets some opposition inside, but just focuses on the task at hand. Outside Thomas. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Jonathan Kaminga picks one up. At the line for the Nets. Two shots. And 
both free throws good for Thomas. Warriors leading by nine. Pass to Green. And here is Kaminga. Up top, Curry. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. Well, Curry's accuracy makes the mid-range easy pick as he just goes up and nails the shot with the ease. Outside, Thomas. They set the pick to the paint. Picks it out to Schroeder. Six on the shot clock. Passes it to Bridges. The shot's good on the assist by Schroeder. Bridges got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Nets. Timeout called the Warriors. They're up by eight. 103 left in the fourth. Kaminga, and there are the Warriors now with another bucket. Guys, I think this is a game they have to feel good about as we wind through the final moments here in what looks to be a solid win for the Warriors. And they're fully in control now, but there were some tense moments up for them throughout this game. Uh, listen, they certainly weren't coasting despite what the score looks like. I love the way they came together, though, when everything started to look a little dire and really put the hammer down. And so that moves their record to 11 wins on the year. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Stephen Curry. He came up with a bucket every time they needed him to. Great effort on offense, and he was a difference maker. And it's Thompson with the ball. He'll bring it up for Golden State. Led by as many as 14 points. So we see the Warriors get the win here. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and, and for me, Kevin, what stood out is just the, the overall trust this group has in one another when it matters most. Doing what had to be done and to send these fans home happy. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Draymond. When you look at the stat sheet and why things work tonight, what are you looking at the most? Turnovers. That's the key to the game. Look at turnovers and how many free throws they shot. If they weren't able to set their defense, we didn't turn the ball over. We were able to set ours. Those are the two things I look at. Certainly sounds like the foundation to victory, man. Congrats again. Back to you. All right, DA. Thanks again. And that about wraps it up. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, Stephen Curry.